Yeah, well, Dave, this is a big deal for families who've spent nearly a year apart. Now, masks still have to be worn and social distance followed, but for families, it's well worth it. We can now allow visitations at nursing homes, too. This one sentence, a few minutes into the governor's press conference, was all Cayman Davis has been waiting to hear. Not being able to leave a facility in a year's time is, is just tough on anybody. His mother, in her 80s, has been in a Livonia nursing home for more than seven years. After near daily visits from family, she spent the last year alone. My mom had somebody in her room every day. You know, every day. It was an exception when someone was not there. They had been able to visit through a window or socially distant outside, but this new order allows indoor meetings, and their first is already on the schedule for tomorrow. She's elated. You know, I'm sure tomorrow will be very emotional and uh, for me and her, and, uh, uh, but I'm just happy that day is here. According to the American Healthcare Association, cases in nursing homes are down 82% since December 20th, about the same time vaccinations began. Now, the state says almost all nursing home residents have been offered one. If you could have seen the faces of people when they were getting vaccinated, it was a ray of hope. Lynn Alexander with Presbyterian Villages of Michigan says nearly all of their residents and all of their staff have been vaccinated. They'll be welcoming in two family members per resident by appointment only and will resume some activities with residents. I and mean, we've had a lot of tears and a lot of prayers over the last year, and those have now been joined by smiles and hope for the future. Hope for a future with no restrictions at all. That goal is still likely months away, but for families like the Davises, those months will be spent together. And I'm just happy that this day is here where we can get back in. Now this order goes in effect immediately. Uh, nursing homes or facilities must go 14 days without a positive COVID taste to allow COVID test to allow visitors and uh, visitors must also pass a COVID test before entering. Reporting live tonight on broadcast seven action news.